Today's Guide to Life is something that has been heavily requested by a lot of you and we're finally getting to do it and it's called the Guide to Nails. So today I'm going to be doing my nails at Lacquered Nails and check out how ugly they are. I know that they're really hideous but don't judge me too much okay because I just moved to a new place right and then I wanted to at least wash off the nail polish but it's like I cannot find my nail polish remover so it's still here and I broke like 5 nails out of 10 so yep they're going to help me fix it today so I'm quite excited Hi! Hi! Okay I desperately need to get my nails done today so what do you recommend for me? Okay seeing that your nails are pretty short um, we'll do nail extensions for you okay. either gel or acrylic it's your choice but both are very lasting Okay we have very nice nail art over here. Wow! With um, yeah, pop up flowers and ribbons, fruits, and. They even have like strawberries on it. Like, okay, I yeah. want the base like this and maybe pink flowers with diamonds. Okay, for your feet, we'll do a chocolate spa paddy for you. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Okay, so here I am at um, about to get my nails done. I'm quite excited because my nails are like truly horrendous now. There's two types of nail extensions. The first type is called acrylic and the other type is called gel. And acrylic is where they use a powder and then add some kind of liquid to it. And then um, gel is when they put like a gel, la. there's no other word for it, la. a transparent gel on your nails. And then they put it under UV light and then it hardens. Both are very hardy, but I think that gel lasts a bit longer and looks nicer. Yeah, I think all girls should do it. At least if, like once in your life, like during a wedding or something. So we're going to start with the chocolate spa pedicure first. And it's going to add some interesting thing. Oh, what is that? The chocolate salt. Chocolate salt? Yeah. Can I try it and taste it? <laughs> it has to be soaked for a while lah. Okay, first she's gonna remove my horrendous nail polish. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, now she's like fouling it so that the nails will be more rough, so that the gel will stay for longer. Do you charge people more if they have like six fingers? No, 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 no. That's unfair to them. <laughs> Why is it unfair? Doing more work eh? Okay, she's cutting my like cuticles now and all the dead skin around it. And every time they do that, I get very freaked out because it looks like it's fucking painful but it's not amazingly enough. It's quite important to like cut the cuticles lah because then you have a very clean nail bed and it looks nice. And your nail polish can also last longer. Oh my god, you can be manicures. Okay, so now my nails are clean. So it's time for the extensions. And she has to find like the correct nail size for me. Okay, if it's too big, she has to like file it to a smaller size. Once she's filed it down to the right size, she's gonna stick it on with this glue that's like damn amazingly strong. Within seconds, it dries and then it's like cannot be peeled off. Don Young, wanna sue me now? Huh? You scratch your eyeball out. I'm getting my feet filed and it gets rid of all the dead skin. It's very thickish. Are those all my dead skin? Fuck, I've never seen that before in all my nail doing days. Having long nails is kind of a hindrance. Uh. It's like if you want to, like, if you have very thick nails, right, it's fucking impossible to like pick out a coin from the floor. When you're eating chili crab, your nails get all like disgusting and smelly. Oh, yeah, the most important thing is you cannot take out your contact lens. It's fucking impossible to do this. Do this, like you hold your eyes down with your pinky and then you use your middle fingers to do this. And it works! It's amazing! Now she has finished cutting my nails, so she's going to start to foul them to a nice shape. Do you like square around nails? Uh, square. <laughs> Most people like square, so that's the default. All these like food fetish people are going to be so excited now. Chocolatey food. Have you ever been tempted to taste it? No. <laughs> So what I'm putting now is clear gel. Okay, now she's giving me the UV light and it's very magical the gel like will just harden under the UV light. It's damn amazing. So do you prefer doing acrylic or gel? No preference. No for fun. But acrylic you will breathe in the, yeah. the powder, right? It'll be quite... I think it'll get I'm cancer really... or no. You'll get giddy. Like high. Huh? After yeah, uh, I'll try it. Few customers a day, then you get high. High sounds good. 
Ta-da! It's shiny nails. Okay, I just took off my mask and she's washing it for me now. So what's that? Massage cream. Oh, let me smell, let me smell. So it's a cream, is it? Yeah. I'm going to try to taste it. Huh? Wow, damn bad. Fuck. Oh, the foot massage is damn nice lah. She's like massaging my feet for me with the moisturizer that I just ate. They have done with the massaging and everything and now it feels really soft and nice so they're gonna paint my nails for me. I picked this color because it will go with the ones that I'm gonna have on my fingers. So it's like this gold goddessy color. Okay, she's applying like the top coat gel for me and this is the final step before she starts to paint it and do the nail art for me. Now my gel nails are done, so she's gonna start doing the nail art for me. Now she's painting the base colour, which is gold, and I like it. This colour is also known as Curry Up Don't Be Late. Opia has really really interesting names like that. I love it. Let me think of some more charged up cherry or like alpine snow and like uh, elephantastic pink. Yeah, now I have gold nails. Okay, so now she's putting on the crystals for me. She's finished with the drawing and the painting. Why can't we just be born with like really shiny nails? If you had a customer who like fell asleep and then maybe they have a bad dream and then they slap your face when they wake up. <laughs> no. Anyway, I might be the first. I'm done! I love it. It's like so nice, I fell asleep and then I woke up and it's like, wow, I'm done. Chill. Okay, now I got chill nails. And I got an excuse to not do housework anymore when I go home. Ha ha ha. So that brings us to the end of this episode and I have chill nails and you don't. Today, I'm going to try kissing a girl. Who better than KK who is like FHM number 7 hottest woman? Okay, what if right, I kiss Wendy and then I get turned on and forever I'll see her in this sexual light. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you think we can like go back to being normal friends? I think cannot. <laughs> no!